Okay, so in this video of Hangman, we're going to fix that function because actually at the moment, what it will do is whenever I type in one letter, say the M in microphone, it shows up in my dashes. If I then went and guessed an E, thinking that there'd be an E on the end of the word, it would just replace the M with a dash, and that's not what I want. I want it to have all the letters that I've guessed correctly so far within my word. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so one of the things that I can do is pass this variable, this dashes, around. So every time I check the function, I'm going to want to send it dashes. Send it whatever I've got already before I have to change anything. Right, I've got it in both places I've used it. And I've also put it in the question with a parameter in. But I'm going to want to save it again, because otherwise, if I just send it through to one without doing that one, I'm not keeping it, I'm not changing it somewhere else. And just like we did with get guess, I'm going to have to now return whatever that dashes is going to be, which in case of this function is what is in there temporarily at the moment. So I'm updating it. Let me just check. I'm returning a value. I'm saving dashes as check guesses. I've not done the bottom one. Here we go. Hopefully this will mean that when I press F5, I might print it out just to make sure. When I press F5, Whatever I guess will stay in both of them, so I'm going to have to be very lucky and get my guess in both times. Let's have a look. Dashes. F5. Okay. E. Brilliant. Um, software. S. Woohoo! So it's now keeping the two letters that I've guessed within that section. Fabulous, and good luck.